Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll discuss SAP WM configurations. So the agenda for this session is movement type mapping of inventory and warehouse, then activating search strategy for storage type and storage section. So let's do all these things practically. All operation like picking material or placing material to storage bin or there is any movement of material, it is done in reference to a movement type. As we all know, warehouse is just a precise or mirror view of inventory. So, movement that occurs in inventory are same to warehouse. So, inventory movement types must be mapped to warehouse movement types. To define and map warehouse movement type, you need to go to display IMG page. So, enter SPRO in command field. Now, select SAP reference IMG. This will navigate you to display IMG page. To define and map warehouse movement types, go to logistic execution. Now select warehouse management. Now select interfaces. Now select inventory management. Now select define movement types. This will navigate you to movement types page. Here select assign WM movement type reference to IM movement types. Here you can see that IM movement types are mapped to WM movement types. Suppose if you will consider a case like in 101 that is GR for sales order is mapped to 101 of warehouse management. You can change these reference movement types as well. So for demo I'll just change your entry. I'll map this is 101 movement type in IM. I'll map it to 998. Now click on save. Click OK on customizing request pop-up. Your IM movement type is now mapped to warehouse movement type. Now suppose if you are receiving a stock from outside, in this case you must be knowing destination location but not correctly in warehouse and vice versa when you are issuing goods from your warehouse you must be knowing location on paper but not physically in warehouse. So to resolve this issue we have defined picking and put away strategies for each storage type and warehouse. Once on paper location of warehouse is known it will search for storage type then it will search for storage section and bin in the hierarchy level. So, we need to activate these strategies at each level for your warehouse. Now first strategy that needs to be activated is storage type. So to activate storage type search, go to logistic execution. Select warehouse management. Now select strategies. Now select activate storage type search. Now first icon is storage type indicator define. Here you need to define your warehouse number and storage type. Click on define. To make a new entry of your warehouse click on new entries icon. Here you need to enter your warehouse number and storage type. I am entering test data here. Now click on save. Click OK in customizing request pop up. A entry for your warehouse and storage type is now defined.
Now, once a entry for your warehouse number and storage type is defined, you need to maintain search sequence search sequence on basis of your operation like whether it is a picking or put away operation or on basis of water pollution class and hazardous class so to maintain this click on determine search sequence this will navigate you to storage type search sequence table here you need to enter your warehouse number you need to enter your operation like whether picking is allowed or put away is allowed for this warehouse you need to enter water pollution class which means the extent to which material can pollute water here in storage class you need to enter whether your material is hazardous one or it is a normal material here you need to enter your storage type to make a new entry click on new entries icon so I am entering test data here operation I will take as E that stands for put away storage class is not required storage type indicator is 9679 water pollution class 0 this is reference storage type I will leave it as blank then next is this is my first storage type I'll enter my storage type here now click on save once all details are entered click OK on customizing request pop-up your storage type search sequence is now activated you can also maintain reference key as movement type for your search sequence of storage type by clicking on this icon that is movement type references defined but this is optional this will navigate you to the other page here you need to enter your warehouse number movement type and what is storage type map to it suppose for example if you are using movement type 91 it will come to this table and it will search for your warehouse number and what is storage type map to it so you will came to know what is the storage type here so as we have already defined storage type search sequence according to operation so we'll just skip this part and we'll go back now once you got to know about storage type for picking or put away you need to find storage section so second strategy is to activate storage section so to activate storage section search go to logistic execution select warehouse management select strategies select activate storage section search this will navigate you to storage section search page here you need to make a entry for your storage section first so click on define icon to make a new entry click on new entries icon here you need to enter your warehouse number and storage section I am entering test data here now click on save click OK on customizing request pop-up a uh, entry for your storage section is now defined like in storage type we have defined search sequence in similar way we will define it for storage section as well so click on determine search sequence here you need to enter your warehouse number storage type what is your storage class whether it is a hazardous material or it is a normal material now water pollution class is the extent to which material can pollute water and what is the storage section to make a new entry of your warehouse click on new entries icon 
so I'm entering test data here storage class I leave as blank auto pollution class is 0 and this is storage section now click on save click ok on customizing request pop-up your storage section search is enabled on basis of operation now in some cases you do not want to search your storage section you just directly want to search for your storage bin so you can disable this feature of searching for storage section so to disable this feature click on activate storage section check search for your warehouse number going to position tab enter your warehouse number here you can see that there is a storage section check and possible options that are available are blank indicates like no storage section determination or check x means you will it will search for storage section and then it will check for storage bin and y means it will just search for storage section and it will not search for storage bin so I'll enter as x and this is for hazardous material check so I'll leave it as blank once the entry is maintained click on save click ok on customizing request pop-up so storage section check is activated now now once you got to know your storage type and storage section next is the storage bin that can be easily searched on basis of number so in this session we learned how to map IM and WM movement types and how to activate search sequence for storage type and storage section and in next session we will see how to define put away strategies for warehouse